hi guys welcome to my channel and today we are going to make a system sequence diagram okay so guys what is a system sequence diagram it is a diagram which shows the sequence of interactions between the actor and the system to carry out one single use case to carry out one single use case so today in this video we are going to take example of atm machine okay now on atm machine the customer is an actor and he goes to atm to perform one use case that is called as transaction and transaction can be any for example withdrawal checking balance paying the bills or anything okay so today we will discuss the system sequence diagram okay so which will show the different interactions between the customer as an actor and atm as a system atm machine as a system okay so what happens here is this is the actor actor is customer okay this is atm atm is a system okay now this is the lifeline of actor and this is the lifeline of system right now what are what is our use case use case is to perform transaction use case is perform the transaction okay here i will write it as use use case use case now the messages which appear on the top of the timeline are the messages which are performed before and the messages as you go down you will understand that they are performed after they are exchanged after okay so when a customer goes to an atm so what he does he requests for transaction he requests for a transaction now in the system sequence diagram the message which the actor inputs to the system is donated by a solid arrow and we also call it as input message and the response to that message which is sent by the system to the actor is donated by a dash arrow we also call it as output message so customer requests for a transaction so what system does it tells you to enter pin on the atm first thing it you enter the pin right so then what customer does he enters pin okay and what what is the parameter which goes is your pin right enters the pin and he sends the pin to the system system verifies the pin it performs some internal processing it verifies the pin is okay then what system does it asks the user to select transaction to select transaction isn't it it opens the menu what do you want to do he request i want to do a transaction it asks for the pin you enter the pin then the system is asking what you need to tell us the transaction so when then what do you do you send the option right you send the option with the transaction selected with the selected transaction right means you send you the option what is the selection selected transaction means i want to check balance i want to pay bills so that and will go as a parameter and this is your option right so after this what happens for example you give number 1 option like i want to withdraw cash okay then system will ask you okay enter the amount system will ask you enter the amount then what do we do we send the amount to the system isn't it you enter amount and in the transaction amt how much you want to withdraw right so then what system does system dispenses your cash and after that system gives you the confirmation it gives you the
confirmation it gives you the confirmation now confirmation can be in form of a receipt it can be in form of the mailing balance it can be in form of anything okay so basically this is a system sequence diagram now guys in a system sequence diagram we have only one object that is the system and we have one actor okay and to carry out a use case what are the messages which are being exchanged between the actor and the system and in what sequence they are being exchanged all this information can be represented in something called as system sequence diagram okay so i hope it makes it clear to you so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and all of you thank you for watching